Hello you lactating hobbits, Jim Sterling here and this is Hush Hush Unlimited Survival Horror. That's its full name on Steam, Unlimited Survival Horror. That is quite a bold claim. Let's start a new game and see exactly how unlimited this survival horror is. Okay, well that was a very quick loading screen, so we're right in the thick of things. Explore around with Waz to find the exit to the next level. Alright, this is a dangerous place. You should get in there. Okay, punch with Q or E. That, that was... Okay, that's a strange punch. Okay, what they don't tell you is that the left and right buttons on the mouse also do the left and right punching, which is a lot more convenient than Q and E. But anyway, here we go. You can only hide if you have energy from shattered minerals, okay. Oh look, it's a big skull fella, right. To high press C. So, to crouch you need energy. <laughs> All right then. Spirit is used to run away from danger by holding down shift. It recovers slowly. Collect more by shattering things. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is going on? <laughs> what was that weird little interpretive dance? Oh, we can jump. That's good. Oh. Shatter orange stalactites to gain spirit. Gotcha. Oh, this is... Not brilliant. Check map of current level with M. It helps to have a map. Okay, now we've got to hold that down. That's the map, is it? Brilliant. Oh. Okay, stone carved note. I, I'll be honest, I have no fucking idea what's going on. I mean, it's it's giving us this tutorial, but the visuals are just so all over the fucking place that I am confused. But yeah, let's press I. Uh, stone note, brilliant. Okay. That is the weirdest idol animation I've ever seen. Why is his head doing... Oh, oh. He did a big old stretch on that side. He stopped looking to the left. Yeah, he's not looking at the left so much anymore. Sorry, I mean, I know I should get on with the game, but I find that very curious. Not, not to mention he's got a streak of Play-Doh on his head. Is that supposed to be hair? This is a terrible character model. I mean, not least when you zoom out and find he's wearing some fucking loincloth. What? He looks so... Like, he skipped leg day. Look at that. Look at those little legs. His bicep's thicker than his thigh right there. Anyway, let's get on with it. I'm sorry. Oh, more weird roaring. Of course, the run animation is... That. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be that? Okay. Let's scurry along. Smash some more stuff. And there's nothing else in this shitty little cave. What's that on the... Can I hit that? No. I mean, I may be able to, but... I ain't dicking around all day. Oh, what was that? Mask of Forgotten. That's what the achievement says. I don't know if that was meant to be a, a scare or not. I mean, the game calls itself a survival horror, but... Oh, Skull of Demon, but I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this game is. I do not know what it is. But hey, we're smashing stuff up still, so that's good. The walls of the cave appear to be covered in glitter, which is a fun activity that you can try at home. Why not cover a cave wall with glitter? It won't be particularly scary, but it'll be fun. Bit of an orange glow on that wall there. Is his head looking at something like in Silent Hill, or is it... No, you've just broken your neck. 
That's what he looks like. He looks like his head's just hanging by a fucking thread. I feel sorry for this dude. Look at him. He's a monster. He's the most horrific thing about the game so far. With his lumpened head and... Weird little legs and... Oh god, what's that now? What? You are dead, ghost pawned. Um... Okay. Sure. Why not? Why not? Right, now where the hell are we? We're not right at the fucking... No, we're not right at the beginning. That's something. Alright, well, we'll just, uh... Toddle along some more. What, is, what did that mean? I don't know. The mouse cursor is stuck on the screen. That's always a good sign when they can't get rid of that. Spirit of Snake. Look at us making progress. Well, we've got to make sure that the ghost doesn't pawn again. That's our number one concern. Quite how the ghost pawned, how we could stop the ghost pawning, I don't know. But we can do more damage to monsters now. Which I don't know, I don't know how well that will serve us considering that ghost appeared to just kill us in a split second. But anyway, we will soldier on. And see if we can't avoid trouble this time. Oh, it's a bit of a skeleton on the ground. Not sure if you can see that at home. Okay, what the hell was that noise? Oh, acid not big enough. Yeah. Acid not big enough, of course. Oh, our spirit's down. No more sprinting for us. Alright. I guess that roll was just to remind us that spooky things could happen. And more stuff falling. Right, let's be careful. A ghost could pawn at any minute. We've got some handcuffs for better mineral gathering. Now we know to avoid the green because our acid isn't big enough. I guess that's the exit. Alright, teleporting. God, the survival horror is just so unlimited. Of course, I've got to hold these things down. So do I interact with the... No, okay. They're just in our inventory. What did that thing say? You'll need seven different items to face the ghost. Right. Right. Of course we do. Spawn, I'd like to show you to the next waypoint. Crunch and punch. Okay. I don't know. If we're going the right way, or... Indeed, what the fuck's going on with any of this? I, I, I think I've already made that abundantly clear by now, that I am very confused as to the point of any of this. Okay, we got an achievement there, Totem of Power. Uh, looks like just more skulls and things. Seems to be this whole game's thing, is skulls. That was loud. Loud and obnoxious. I realise there's some weird story thing going on. Uh-oh, it's the ghost! Quick! In here! Oh no! Oh god. Did we avoid it? Oh no, there it is! Ghost pawned. Yeah! Yeah, I think that's... 
I think that's fine there.